Let's now see the bandwidth delay product. We will start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to understand the bandwidth delay product. Let's start with what is bandwidth delay product. The bandwidth delay product defines the number of bits that can fill the link. Suppose if we have a link, then how many number of bits that can fill the link? That is defined by the bandwidth delay product. In other words, it is the capacity of the link. Let's see an example. In this example, we are assuming the link to be a pipe. And this pipe will obviously have a length and a cross section. And the volume of this pipe is denoted by the length into cross section. So the volume is product of length and the cross section. If it is a link, then the volume is, that is the capacity is, the bandwidth into delay. Where the bandwidth is the cross section and the length is the delay. So the bandwidth delay product defines how many number of bits that can fill the link. So it is the capacity of the link. We will see an example. In this example, there is a sender and there is a receiver. And the bandwidth is 1 bits per second. It means in 1 second, only 1 bit can be sent. And the delay here is 5 seconds. Delay means it is the length. After 5 seconds, we can determine how many number of bits that are there on the link. So the bandwidth delay product is 1 bits per second into 5 seconds. That is 1 into 5, which is equal to 5 bits. So after 5 seconds, we can see there are 5 bits on the link. Let's see it formally now. After 1 second, 1 bit will be there. Why? Because the bandwidth is 1 bits per second. 1 bit per second means after 1 second, only 1 bit will be placed on the link. After 2 seconds, the second bit will be placed. After 2 seconds, there will be 2 bits. After 3 seconds, there will be 3 bits. Since the length is 5, that is 5 seconds, we can see after 4 seconds, the fourth bit is now placed on the medium, that is the link. And after 5 seconds, the fifth bit is placed. Since the delay is 5 seconds, how many bits are there after 5 seconds? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In each second, only 1 bit is placed because the bandwidth is 1 bits per second. So the bandwidth delay product is 5 bits. In other words, the capacity of the link is 5 bits. Let's see an example with numerics. It will be more clear for us to understand. Consider the link capacity of a channel is 512 kilobits per second and round trip delay time is 1000 milliseconds. For time being, you just ignore the round trip delay time. In the next lecture, I will talk about the round trip delay time. But for time being, let's ignore it. And the capacity, the link capacity of a channel is 512 kilobits. We are taking it as the bandwidth and the delay is 1000 milliseconds. So we are about to see after 1000 milliseconds, how many bits will be there on the link. Let's solve it. The bandwidth delay product is the bandwidth, that is the 512 kilobits per second multiplied by the delay. Here the delay is 1000 milliseconds. When we solve this, we will get the number of bits on the link after 1000 milliseconds. Now we will solve this part 512 kilobits per second and we are required to convert it into seconds. So kilo means it is 1000. So we are converting this 512 kilobits per second into seconds. So 512 kilobits per second is equal to 512 multiplied by, I am replacing this kilo with 1000. So we get 1000 bits per second, that is BPS, multiplied by this 1000 milliseconds. We are required to convert this milliseconds into seconds as well. So again 1000 into, this millisecond means it's 10 power minus 3 seconds. And when we solve this, 10 power minus 3 gets cancelled with 1000. 1000 into 10 power minus 3 becomes 1 here. So anything into 1 will be this 512 into 1000 bits per second. So since the result is in seconds, I am ignoring it now. 8 bits constitute 1 byte. When we divide this 512,000 bits by 8, we will get 64,000 bytes. So I am just converting this number of bits into bytes, simply by dividing it with 8. We will now convert this into kilobytes. So 1 kilobyte is equal to 1024 bits. So when we divide 64,000 bytes by 1024 bits, we will get kilobytes. So the bandwidth delay product is 62.5 kilobytes. When it is in uppercase B, it is in bytes. Because already we have the previous result in bytes, we are converting that big number into a small number by converting the bytes into kilobytes. So the answer to this is 62.5 kilobytes. 
And that's it guys. I hope now you understood the bandwidth delay product. In the next lecture we will see the round trip time. I hope you guys enjoyed the session and thank you for watching.